As your boy, so as you can see on the intro, I was actually doing pretty well on Cold War. But uh, anyways, I got some stuff to talk about about the UFC event. Uh, I completely forgot to talk about that in the last video because I absolutely smashed my shit in the last video. I don't know if my mic's fine, because whenever I was editing, it was kind of off. But first, we need to light up a cigar. Where, where's my lighter? Hold on. Here, B. Um, I couldn't find a lighter, but this is already a lit up pretzel. I mean, this is already a lit up cigar. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we have the UFC event 290. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez. We're gonna go down through the bloodline of the fights that we have had. Alright, so listen. Robbie Waller versus Nico Price. Absolute nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. Very nice knockout by Robbie Waller. Great way to end off his whole career. It was absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna go on to Bo Nickel versus... I, I don't know that guy's name. That guy got absolutely molded. Give him a chance. Give him a chance in the UFC. Dana White has to give him another chance. Our next fight is Dan Hooker versus uh, Tucker, whatever. Great fight, absolutely bang. It was a very nice performance. Dan Hooker broke his arm in the second round. It was absolutely bumbaclotty. It was actually a very nice fight, very close fight. It was very entertaining. I really enjoyed it. I can't even lie to y'all. It, uh, it was one of those fights that Dan Hooker just goes all in with. Like that Dustin Poirier fight. Oh my god. Up next, we had an amazing fight. We had Robert Whitaker versus Jerkus Duplessis. I said his name wrong, but still. Amazing fight. I hate to see Robert Whitaker like that, but Jerkus is gonna be the up-and-coming guy. He's gonna be amazing. He's he's gonna be he's gonna make America great again. He's gonna make the whole UFC great again if he wins the champion. Robert Whitaker lost by knockout by Jerkus Duplessis. And whoa, what do you know? All of a sudden, Israel Anasanya came in after his fight and then started saying What's up, N-word? What's up, N-word? I'm your N-word. I will play the clip right now. We're fine. Relax, relax, relax. This is my African brother right here. Let's go. What's up? Let's go. Yeah. What's up? Get up. Yeah, don't do yeah, my African brother. Yeah, my African brother. What's up? But listen, man, it is an absolute bloody fest of a fight that I want to see. It would be very, very interesting. Dirk is duplices versus Israel and Asanya, and I believe it's gonna happen in like two more months. And um, actually, my predictions were very nice. Okay, I didn't say it in the video, but I said I wanted Dan Hooker to win. I wanted Bo Nickel to win. I wanted Robbie Lawler to win. So I was three for three until Robert Whitaker just all of a sudden said, "Oh, well, well, you're not gonna get the fucking money, buddy." Up next, we had. Alexander Pantoja, whatever his name is, versus Brandon Moreno, which was an absolute bloody fest. It was amazing five rounds. I don't know how the fuck none of them got knocked out. It was amazing. They deserve like 100k bonuses, not 50k bonus of the night. They need 100k. And uh, the winner of that fight went to Pantoja. You know, I had 3-2 Pantoja. I had a little small feeling that Brandon Moreno was gonna win that fight at the end whenever all the rounds were done. Oh my god, this guy. Woo! But it ends up to be a split decision, and he fucking lost. I don't know. Brandon Moreno just keeps on going up and down on the charts. He's a champion one day, and then the next day he's not. So then up next, we had Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez, which was an absolutely banger. It was amazing. That My prediction over there was very wrong, sadly. Alexander obviously took the fucking dub. But Jesus, man, the way he dominates 145 makes him look like a fucking cheater. Way boy at its finest. I'm just kidding. Look at this fucking gun in spec. But anyways, Alex Volkanovsky absolutely banged Yair Rodriguez. I wanted Yair Rodriguez to win because I wanted to see a new champ in the 145 division. But it ends up not to be a new 145 champ because Alexander Volkanovsky is insane with his cardio. And he just, he, I, I don't I don't know, man. He just fucked him up. It's sad to see because I really wanted to see Rod Yair Rodriguez. Rodriguez really pop off. That ended up not happening. Yair Rodriguez caught Alex once. Uh, Yair Rodriguez got caught. He was like smiling for a second. Alexander knew that he wanted to go for the kill. He went for the kill. And then all of a sudden he's throwing hooks and shit. And then he's just, why are you with the knife? And then all of a sudden he just picks the fucking dude up. Like it's nothing. And then ground and pounds him. Modern Warfare 2 just dropped like new Superlands bundles and all that shit for midseason update. I didn't even notice that that shit was like coming out tomorrow, which is like July 12th, which is 
is probably when this video is gonna come out. This new mid-season thing. I haven't really seen most of it. I'll go over it with y'all. Yeah, but now I can't even lie to y'all, bro. Cold War is actually kind of fun. Just the way the rhythm flows in that game. Oh, oh. I don't know where you could see the mid-season roadmap because I don't really see this on here on their website. I usually go on Instagram and see it. Alright, so this is the season four reloaded thing. It actually looks I'm not even gonna lie, the roadmap itself just looks wow. Amazing. Can't lie to you. The way that they designed this. Spot on. The boys thing came out. Um, it's coming out mid-season, which is tomorrow, by the way. You got the diabolical camo challenges, which these camos are literally just red and white, but just white is covered with a little bit of black and red is covered with a little bit of white. Interesting. The boys 10v field upgrade. I bet that this is gonna be in Vondel, Resurgence, all that shit. They're gonna oh my god, those look like fucking superpowers and shit. Yeah. The boys theme map updates. Um, they're gonna be adding new theme maps and like all this shit, like this little thing, you know, on the walls and shit. And you got these bundles. Actually, matter of fact, the little design that they made on this is actually way fucking better than all their bundle designs. See, this is what happens when Call of Duty gets paid big time just to make fucking money on their game. Vondel gets a battle royale. What? Oh, it's a battle royale map? I, I don't even. You got a new Vondel Google public event, which is uh, on Vondel. And you got a field upgrade, which is a portable redeployed drone PRD. That sounds like a fucking steroid. Anyways, we move on to the right side of the screen which jesus man what the fuck are y'all on bro multiplayer map we got a vondel waterfront 6v6 new map it literally has vondel in it which can obviously tell you that this is obviously remade from vondel the battle royale map the raid finale raid finale episode four i think one of my buddies would actually like to do this if we get a camo you know yourself buddy we spent a lot of fucking hours trying to get a shitty camo new weapon the mx guardian shotgun oh shit see see this this, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. Um, smash. But still, all the shit bundles. And then this is all coming tomorrow. For now, boys, if you guys are new here and you fuck with this content, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'd very, very appreciate it. I'm definitely reading a script right now. Um, this video is brought to you by Blue Ch Anyways, boys, that's all I gotta say. Peace. Alhamdulillah. I made it eight minutes with the YouTube